morning. Freedom Tour 2023 episode 59. Welcome to the welcome to the show. <laughs> welcome to the J Gigs Riot show. I was just kind of going through this morning all the different response. And there's some pretty good ones. Uh Colred uh, had a call to action. Is Jiggs is calling for action. Should we listen? Uh, a lot of people were like, in, almost like they were insulted by it. They were mad. Uh, drama alert. I got called out. Jiggs is upset with other creators. I mean, these are all clickbait, right? Like, people make these. Uh, I think Nub, Nub Raids did the best video of all of them response uh yeah it's broken and yeah we probably should now i still believe that there's more people that play than 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 he does only because in in rpgs it's the it's the number one by far monthly grossing in play store and in um and in the ios store i don't know what you guys call your silly store there over in iphone land but uh it's the number one grossing rpg in both of them and a lot of the serious spenders play it on the player and play client which does not respond to either of those so they make an additional revenue there um and a lot of the times when i look up the top 100 and this is why i think and maybe maybe i'm just taking a bad because analytics and the social blade and all these things are all guesstimating they have no idea actual counts because so many fake accounts out there people have made fake accounts to support their favorite streamer who's doing a raid collab all that stuff how many of us i have made 10 accounts through referrals through going to level 50 through special you know trial thing plus a, you know, several free-to-play accounts um including this one of course and then my main so i i get i get that it's not millions of players daily but it, it's it could be a million players daily and, and and here's the deal how many people that watch ash or El hades are any of these do you recognize any of these names? Right? I mean, this is early, right? This is, we're not on the weekend. We're just the first day. But who are who are any of these people? And these aren't even the main ones yet, right? These aren't even the... Like, you don't see... I don't see any arena points beside any of these people. So these are... Oh, there's one. There's one. Like, do any of these people watch any content? And I, and I know it's just a microcosm, but... If you take the top 300 people in Platinum, or 500 people, um, those are the spenders, the biggest spenders, and I don't know if any of them watch anyone. So I guess that's where I come from. That's the only piece that I still, I still am, I, I have a bit of contention about when it comes to. Uh, what Jay Giggs is saying. That said, I still don't think it would be a bad idea to not spend in December. I think it would still benefit showing uh, showing Plarium that what they're doing, not okay. Um, but anyway yeah I, did, I think uh i think a lot of people took that this looks like a I, this looks like a ridiculous team i don't want to fight that team that team looks ridiculous why is that team on my list anyway jay gigs made a kind of response video he was like look i wasn't really saying call i wasn't calling you out i should have said call to action he He's not saying it's our fault, but he's saying we have the solution in our hands. And that's fair. And maybe we do, and maybe we should. And it 
I there's so many of the content creators that say, well, I won't tell other people to stop spending in the game. I, and I watched quite a few, and that is a very large sentiment. I won't stop. I won't tell other people to stop spending in the game. I won't tell people what to do with their money. Um, they're they're free to do with it as they choose, right? And that is fair. The reason why it has to be money is because it's what Plarium cares about. It's what Plarium needs and wants. They don't do analytics based on enjoyment. They don't do analytics based on uh, based on number of hours gushing versus hating on the game. They do their analytics based on financial failure or success it's what they do so if you aren't trying to um reach them via letting them know that what they're doing is not okay by by financially telling them what they're doing is not okay then you're not doing anything. Then you're not changing anything. And I think that's the point. You know, they have analytics based on playtime. They have analytics based on um, based on financial success. They have financial matrix. It's the same concept of how they decide what slot machines go where and how long they stay in a casino. And... As much as I always shy away from saying, remember this is a gambling company, because that's irrelevant. Watcher of Realms isn't a gambling company and they're monetizing their world. And they got Bobby who used to be top platinum arena here all the time. Now he's over there being that their top arena. And they have the same things, the same catches. It's not because they're a gambling. They just also, the reason why they were bought out by aristocrat gaming, aristocrat gaming is because a gambler knows a gambler. It saw the it saw the uh, gaming side went. Oh my god, this is like what we do, but we don't have to give any money back. This is amazing. So I, I shy away from that analogy most times, but in this case, it's true. They, you know, they're they're a gambling company that sees an opportunity. But I just want to say, keep in mind whenever you do that that analogy oh god that uh raid was around before plarium was around longer than aristocrat gaming and while they weren't as prevalent in the amount of give us your money tactics they were still there and then they were bought by this company who said hey that looks like what we do, and then, then you know, they fired the CEO. And oh, Jiggix does say that he believes, and I said this before yeah, on the weekend or Friday, uh, that you know what Darth did got a CEO fired. Absolutely not. Absolutely, I do not buy that for a second. What got the CEO fired was lack of results on their analytics. They needed someone who was more aggressive who could push this forward in a monetization way. And they did. Now, they also did it in an enjoyment way, right? Because that's what the that CEO who's no longer with, he got fired too, by the way, or let go or moved on or whatever you want to call it. But a year ago, I think, he had a system or he asked or, 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 or pushed. I don't know. We don't know what the board meetings look like. But his goal wasn't to appease earth his goal was to to balance the cost to enjoyment ratio to where people who wanted to spend could spend a ton and they wouldn't be that far ahead in that many places after all at the time say dragon 20 the difference between somebody who can do dragon 20 in a minute and three seconds and 28 seconds or 11 seconds i think might have been been the record just the crazy numbers is that's a spend, but who cares? You both get the same reward. 
And I think that was the good balance that, you know, but then probably they, the, their, their feet were being held to the fire to make that much money all the time. Well, look how much money you made. Look at all these people that bought all these shard packs. And there's a reason why, by the way, all the, every new pack you see is a new type of shard pack. There's not a, a new, transformative, amazing new way to get energy because energy doesn't make them as much money. It does make them some money, and they understand that, but it's the shard packs. That's why uh, they, they, up the, they up the dragon and the, all the dungeons because they need a way for you to spend resources because their analytics tell them. Anyway, I, there was, there's too much about it. I'm with you, Giggsy. I'm not spending on the game. I have a main account. There's no plans to spend any time soon. <clears throat> well, and I agree with most of what you said. I'm pretty good with most of what you said. And I'm on board. So. As for this account, as for Raid Shadow Legends, uh, we've been able to run a lot of Dragon. Our Dragon 20 team, so far miraculously has been a hundred percent now i think that's just we haven't had a chance because and I, I brought him in here and i don't know why um oh i was trying different things so when it's on magic affinity i, I don't do enough damage so i brought kale back in for that and i forgot to take him out uh, i'm getting about the same damage whether he's in or out or whether i put stagnite in so which is an interesting thing and i think that's just because i need more epic by the way i got an epic book i did see that we're really ecstatic we actually got an epic um if venomage if, if once venomage gets her cooldowns then stagnites not having stagnite on the team uh the impact is lessened um the only downside right now is that i've actually turned off um Deacon's A2, which is the decreased defense. And that's why we're not getting as much damage on this iteration. Or we get the same amount of damage on this iteration as we do when I have Stagnite. When I have Stagnite, it's 100% uptime for the decreased attack, pretty much. And the decreased defense, which means we're doing more physical damage. But most of our damage comes from War Master proc and poisons. So it's made up by the fact that I have uh, Kale, who's gonna have poisons up, right? And the reason why we have Deacon solely, oh, that drives me bonkers. This is why I don't like have, like all all he had to do, all he had to do, Kale was land was was land a war map. He has sixty percent chance. And now you're lying on the ground like an idiot. Anyway, that's why we have to have, we have to have that leech up with 100% uptime as close to it as possible. Otherwise, people die. This is this is one of the worst runs I've ever watched this group do. By the way, it's actually a little bit crazy to the point where I might actually stop it. We'll see what happens here. If I get ten, I don't care. But if I don't get 10 like he like no war master proc for deacon now deacon's gonna die oh he got lucky with the heels and the but he still didn't like land a... that's four non war master procs 60 percent chance god i hate this game nah he's dead nine uh, see that's not enough damage i should have stopped it but whatever who cares close now I'll be able to make that up like Banshee got nothing what happens is Kale Kale drowns the boss in his debuffs and then she doesn't get her debuffs up but we're so I anyway, know sorry I got sidetracked by watching that thing so what we're what we're working on right now is we're working on her gear and we're slowly pushing her gear to get her above 170 whatever um so that she's a little bit so she's getting a little bit more um 
Let's get a little more damage. Uh, I do probably need to put her back into the boss at least to get the extension. Uh, I don't think I need both because I think all her skills are 100%, right? Yeah. So we don't need we don't need sniper. We just need hexer, master hexer. So I should probably cook her in for a few more. I mean, she's got 86 and it's what 250? No, 200. So, I mean, it wouldn't take that long. So we'll do that. Uh, I'm pushing all... I'm slowly pushing all my Shadowkin. Right? And now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start taking them to 50. I'm not going to take them past 50 right now. We're going to take them to 50. Lady Creelin, uh, I'm not going to use her to fuse. To fuse. Because I feel like she's really good. And I feel like that would be a bit of a waste for free to play who's probably never going to see that Lady Mikado or whatever her name is. And then Lady Annabelle. Those are kind of what I'm looking at is these four and then these the two ladies. And we're going to slowly push them up to 50. Um, nothing I do to the 50s I have is going to change the fact that I'm doing Spider 20 and I'm doing Dragon 20 and it's going really well especially oddly enough dragon 20 where kale's a part of it and he literally dies every time i actually switched him back to this from the attack ring just to see if there's a difference it doesn't kale just dies in dragon but for some reason now suddenly he dies in the right so he doesn't just keep, he dies and then he's revived and then he heals back. Like he gets back up. He's chum, ch tub thumping. <laughs> like, I don't know. So anyway, so that's, that's kind of where we're, we're at. We're following because right now there's a dragon tournament. So we're doing the dragon tournament. Um, and we're just really just looking to re improve everyone's gear that's in the clan boss. And, and the speeds. We want to get everyone, like I want Kaoku to be 171, 172. And then I want uh, Deacon's already up at 173. He could be even faster. That'd be fine. And then I want to get Venno and uh, Frozen up to 170s. And then we're going to push that defense to 4,200 or as close to it as we can. Wow. She just stopped taking away her HP. It's gone crazy again. Uh, and then, you know, we, what we want is that HP... And around 37 and the defense around 4k if we can that's our kind of ultimate push goal uh, some of that will require six star gear that's fine some of it will require um some of it we just won't get those numbers until we push the uh arena stuff better but we're gonna tr we're trying it all but i have i actually have as you can see i actually have options in here so really it's about silver and you know we're starting to get you see now we're starting to get the sets from dragon we're starting to get some more of them so we're slowly coming along it's not too bad not too bad um and i know there's a training i hate the heck fact that there's a training tournament here at the same time because i feel like you know like there's an epic book here but i feel like that's unattainable anyway and i'm not hard pushing for a new champion yet I haven't gotten a champion. I'm like, oh my god. So, um, skills. We now have three Lego books. I'm I'm still not putting them in here because I really this sheep is not important to me. Um, the cooldown on this would be nice, but I really don't want the sheep. I just want the damage. And for Kyoko, I don't need this to land. That's not a critical component and we got the cooldown here so i'm just holding that on holding on to to those books until i get a new legendary champion so that's kind of where we're at with that daily login rewards i mean we're not going to see anyone for quite some time obviously we get the 180 um we get another epic ooh, we get another epic book tomorrow obviously we do weekends we don't do a video weekends we do uh streaming we split it with Watcher and Raid, and that's been I've I've enjoyed that. It's been fun. I'm streaming on both Twitch and YouTube at the same time. 
So if you normally find me on YouTube, you find me there. If you prefer Twitch, I prefer Twitch's interface from a viewer perspective. So if you prefer that, you can find me on Twitch. Uh, it's Madcapper YT. You can search me on Twitch. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of the reason I'm going back to Twitch is because I feel like there's an opportunity for watcher content on Twitch where uh, on YouTube it kind of is just it's getting lost you're finding me because you're watching me as opposed to looking at watcher of realms so uh so that's what we're doing that's that's where the goal of the of the of the account is right now um yeah i really like i got 254 energy um i think there might i might be able to get a little bit more energy here what else is, is there I hate the I hate the fact that they put the um, ascensions in here because we ain't we ain't about that we ain't we ain't able to do that so um yeah so that's what we're doing uh, I don't do I have a question for you guys today? how have you guys been watching the Witcher content as I post it what do you think do you like it do you hate it um. Does it turn you away from the channel? Do you care? Let me know in the comments down below. Here, we're going to do uh, upgrade one level. I'm going to slowly get that up. Um, I'm really curious because I, I'm, I'm definitely having more fun with the watcher. It's a newer thing, right? That's how that works. Leo, you've got a new... You've got a new piece of a new game that you're kind of into, and so it's a little bit more fun. Our stream went four hours both days just because I was enjoying the content. And also, it's really hard to put so many hours into one thing, right? Especially raid. You can't playing raid for four, five, six hours is really tough, especially on a free to play account. But if I split it with to watch her and this then that gives me so much more i could have kept streaming except for i knew i had other things to do um so anyway i'm curious as to what you guys thoughts are on the watcher content if any of you started playing from seeing the content that would be a neat one i don't have a referral thing i do have referral codes in my so if you guys need for watcher i i have, I have referral codes so you can give me some cool rewards for referring you but uh I don't have like a like a content creator uh, thing, so it was interesting. It's too bad that they don't have that. Uh, we're nine days away from our next yummy yummy. Uh, so yeah, that's all. I think that's all the update I have for you. I mean, if we look at the champions, we're we're trying to upgrade skills. That's my biggest hit. Is again, I need epic skill tomes. I need them so bad. Uh, miscreate a monster. We're still, we still need the two here. And we keep going into his A1. So like, so there we go. We can't go in my A1 anymore. So the last two got to go there. So I need at least two more epic books for him. And then we got to go back to him. And he's still looking at three, three to probably, I don't care about these two. So, you know, it'll go into it. So three to five books there. So that's seven books. Uh, and then we need Ayla. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 books. 15, 17, let's pretend it's always going to happen to fully book, even though I don't want it to. So that's 17 books. And then probably Fenchy, because I'd like to get Fenchy in as a force affinity option in the clan boss. So 18, 9, 20, 20, 22, 23, 24, 26, 28, 23, 23, 30, just 32 bucks. Just to get a start. Plus, I, you know, let's not talk about the fact that I want Lady Annabelle and uh, Lady Quelan. I need a lot of books. I don't know. I don't know where those come from. I know when, like, once you get to Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss, you get a steady stream of epic books. At about a three to one pace or four to one pace over the legendary books. And that's fine. But I ain't hitting Ultra Nightmare anytime soon. And I really feel like Nightmare is not nearly as giving on books as it should be. That's my thoughts. Anyway, 
We have boosted summons again? Or is this still from the... Is this still the... What's, what is it today? Oh, the 10x for, for her. No, that's... That's silly. Oh, okay. Anyway. Uh, so there you're updated. Monday update. There's no news yet. Um, raid's kind of quiet. Uh, just they had technical maintenance. This this game has been running horribly, so hopefully they've main maintenanced whatever that was. This is the worst optimized game I think I've ever seen. It is such a resource hog for being a mobile game port. Like this plays on my phone. This plays on your phone, my phone, and yet it's burning. It's burning so much. Very high power usage, one point four gigabytes of memory. T GPU at twenty, thirty, forty percent. 7% CPU, it is nuts. It is nuts how much how much of a resource pig this is. And I think I actually st I turned down the the frames to 60 and graphic to high just to see if that would balance it out a little bit when streaming because, I mean, the quality is not that much different. It didn't change anything. So, anyway, uh, I think that's all we have for today. Thank you. I will not have a video tomorrow, maybe not even Wednesday, uh, I don't, it's, the problem is I might, I could do one in the afternoon after, but I have a, I have an 8 a.m. meeting tomorrow, uh, mar new marketing rollout piece. So I have to go into the office and then we have a, di a spon kind of a sponsored dinner. Like they're, they're buying us dinner or something. We're going out for dinner. Um, so that's happening tomorrow. So that's like a full day. And unless I get up really early tomorrow and do this before I get to the office, which I'll try. And then Wednesday, same thing. It's day two of this meetings. So if you don't see me for two days, I apologize. Um, maybe I could throw something in one of those evenings, but we'll see what, we'll see how it goes. So, uh, plus I got to figure out, I got to figure out what to do with watcher. I need to figure out how, am I just going to do a let's play series or do I have, can I give you actual content yet? Probably not. I don't think I'm comfortable enough in saying I'm an expert at this game to teach you how to do anything. I do want to do some collabs with some of the uh, some of the creators out there. So we'll see what goes on with that. So there's a lot of things I'm, I'm considering. Um, still on tap for J Gigs collab. And. Uh, I kind of shied away from a special collab that some of you may know about. I don't know if I actually mentioned it on the channel, but uh, the, there's there's reasons. It doesn't really fit into my scope, and I don't want to just use it as a as a stat boost. So we'll see we'll see about that collab. But definitely J Gigs and Ivy and Odd One. Uh, I just got to figure out when because life be busy. Uh, but then yeah, that's all I have for you. So thank you, appreciate you. Be kind, be safe, like all my videos, watch them all, watch all the old ones too, and uh, sh share them with your family. Thanksgiving, this coming Thursday, Friday, what better way to spend Thanksgiving than to play my playlist, my free-to-play playlist, for all your family members to enjoy. Keep in mind, the C-bomb is strong in the live ones, so maybe stay away from the live videos. But the, the recorded ones, typically the language is, is, is Thanksgiving approved. All right. I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow.